Mm-hmm. And then I think we can progress with the romance with Cassandra at this point now, too. I'm pretty sure with any of them, you have to get their uh, side mission done first. Come on. Let's get into this. I'm kind of sad. I was just thinking about that while the, at the loading screen that the new Mass Effect game takes place somewhere else. Because it would have been kind of cool to uh, follow up with some of those characters. I'm sure that they'll be med mentioned in codexes and stuff. Huh. I don't know what's up with that. Something in the air today or something. But hopefully this will progress, like, uh, find out about her brother and stuff that she didn't want to talk about, too. Oh, this is taking a minute to load. It's just a conversation. Why is it taking so long? Probably going to a different location to talk private. Yeah, probably. Is she in the bar? This tome has passed from Lord Seeker to Lord Seeker. Since the time of the old Inquisition. And now it falls to me. That is the biggest candle I've ever seen. You were right. You look drained. On the contrary, it's a delight. I'm riveted. Oh, you're joking. Do you know what the right of tranquility is? The last resort used on mages in the circle leaving them unable to cast, but depriving them of dreams and all emotion. It should only be used on those who cannot control their abilities, but that has not always been the case. Deprived of all emotion? That sounds... I always thought it a necessary evil. What finally began the Mage Rebellion was the discovery the right of tranquility could be reversed. The Lord Seeker at the time covered it up. Harshly. There were deaths. It was dangerous knowledge. The shock of its discovery in addition to what happened in Kirkwall. But it appears we've always known how to reverse the right. From the beginning. Why keep that knowledge a secret? We created the right of tranquility. I told you of my vigil, the months I spent emptying myself of all emotion. I was made tranquil and didn't even know. Then the vigil summoned the spirit of faith to touch my mind. That broke tranquility and gave me my ability. The Seekers did not share that secret. Not with me, not with the Chantry, not even with There's more. Lucius was not wrong about the Order. I thought to rebuild the Seekers once victory was ours. Now I'm not certain it deserves to be rebuilt. I don't think I've ever seen you so shaken. I do not think the Seekers have been doing the Maker's work. Not truly. Perhaps we believed it once. The original Inquisition came to be during a terrible time. But now, we harbored secrets and let them fester. We acted to survive, but not to serve. That is not the Maker's work. Rebuild the Seekers. Make them better than they were. Thank you. I could not have done this on my own. Yay. Yeah, we did find another throne. Kind of figured as much. Um, jump. Oh, this is this is that one building that doesn't really have much point. I guess it's here partially just for her to talk. So... I guess we can go try to talk to Cassandra again, see if we've... Uh, Unlocked anything else here? Good book. Ah, 
I don't know what you're talking about. Wait, are you blushing? What would I have to blush about? You tell me. It's of no interest to you, I'm certain. It's a book. I can see that. It's one of Varric's tales. Swords and Shields, the latest chapter. The latest chapter? Meaning you've read them all? Not since this all began. We've been busy. She's read this one three times. <laughs> you! I told you to stop spying! You read it out loud to me. I don't like the captain either. I never did that. It's literature. Smutty literature. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't tell Varric. Maybe I should read that book. You? No. Why not me? You're the Inquisitor. <laughs> oh, I see. They're terrible. And... Magnificent. <laughs> and this one ends in a cliffhanger. I know Varric is working on the next. He must be. You. You could ask him to finish it. Command him to. <laughs> Pretend you don't know this about me. <laughs> That's pretty funny. She likes crappy romance novels written by Varric. Is there anything you need? I want to talk to you about the cure for tranquility. It's not a cure. Not truly. Mages who were once tranquil lose all control over their emotions. They become irrational, unable to focus. Perhaps that state eventually passes and they can be helped, but it will take time to investigate. There are so many tranquil. They deserve a chance to heal. I would not want news of a cure to spread until we know for certain we can help these people. Once we have that, however, then I will spread the word myself. I have some more questions. As you wish. Tell me about your brother. Anthony was older than I, a dragon hunter, who showed what a pentagast could truly be. I idolized him. I wanted to hunt dragons as he did, even though our uncle forbade it. Anthony promised to train me in secret. We would hunt together one day, brother and sister, vanquishing the beasts of old. And then he died on me. That sounds really awful. It was the end of everything I knew. A group of apostates wanted dragon blood, and wanted Anthony to get it for them. He refused, and they killed him for it. In front of me. I begged the Chantry to let me become a Templar. Instead, they sent me to the Seekers. It took many years to let go of my drive for vengeance. I think I understand how you felt. At times I could not breathe. The rage nearly choked me. I sometimes wonder how different my life would be if Antony was still alive. Would I be a dragon hunter? Married to some noble fool, a mother of three? I cannot say. I take solace in believing the Maker has a plan, but he is not always kind. I'll let you get back to work. It looked like there was actually Hello again. something now I wanted to talk you here. Reading. Oh, yes, what of it? So under that taciturn shell beats a true romantic heart. Why must it be an accusation? Romance is not the sole province of dithering ladies in frilly dresses. It is passion. It is being swept away by the pursuit of an ideal. What is not to like about that? And don't get me wrong, I like this side of you. I don't swoon. I meant the passion. Ah, oh. well that's not so bad then. Well, we'll, uh, I think we'll wrap things up by going to talk to Varric real quick about his smutty books that he writes. I had no idea he was a published author. Changes my opinion of Eric a little bit. Silly guy. Corivius is back. Oh, shit. 
You said he was a dark spawn or a magister. What is he really? I'm not sure. I don't think Corypheus really knows either. He's definitely a dark spawn, but when we found him, it was pretty obvious he hadn't heard that. He thinks he's a magister, a priest of Dumat, in fact. He says he broke into the Golden City, like in the Chantry tale. If you and Hawk defeated him once, we can do it again. We didn't just think Corypheus was dead. He was dead. No pulse, no breath, full of stab wounds. There wasn't a lot of room for doubt. It makes me wonder. I thought the Wardens imprisoned Corypheus to use him. Maybe they did it because he can't be killed. How did you and Hawk even wind up in a Grey Warden prison for ancient Darkspawn? Corypheus sent people after Hawk. He actually got control of an entire Carter clan. Made them drink Darkspawn blood. Weird shit. We tracked the Carter to an old dwarven fort or something in the mountains. Of course, it turned out to be a trap. They needed Hawk's blood to open the locks holding Corypheus. And they drew us into the prison to get it. I remember all that. There has to be a way to defeat Corypheus. We'll find it, don't worry. I hope you're right. Baker's breath, what have I let loose? You had nothing to do with this, Barry. I was the one who led Hawk to Corypheus. If I hadn't tracked the Carta to that ruin. But you've got more important things to do than listen to me worry. Just let me know when you want something shot. Uh, okay, there, I was gonna say, where am I? I wanted to talk to you about your books. Can I ask you something, Barry? You want to talk about me? I'm flattered. Also inclined toward extravagant lies. Thanks, Barry. No problem. Well, that was pointless. Need something? Sandra is waiting for the next issue of Swords and Shields. I must have heard that wrong. It sounded like you just said that Cassandra read my books. She's a pretty big fan, in fact. Are we talking about the same Cassandra? Tall, grumpy seeker, like stabbing things? Wait, did you say the romance serial? Huh. She'll be waiting for a while, then. I haven't finished it and wasn't planning to. That book is easily the worst I've ever written. <laughs> the last issue barely sold enough to pay for the ink. I'm sure it's not as terrible as you think. There are a number of critics who'd be happy to argue with you. So, you want me to finish writing the latest issue of my worst serial for Cassandra? Oh, that's such a terrible idea. I have to do it. On one condition. I get to be there when you give her the book. You've got a deal. I'll get to work then. You know, the fact that the book is terrible just makes it more worthwhile somehow. Well, that's probably not going to work out. Probably should not have uh, had him be present. Cassandra's going to be pissed, but she deserves to get teased a little bit, I think, for this. Did he finish it already? It's already... Wow. They must be crappy. He wrote that in like 45 seconds. What have you done now? I get it, Seeker. You're still sore after our spat. I'm not a child, Varric. Do not suggest I'm without reason. Uh, a peace offering. The next chapter of Swords and Shields. I hear you're a fan. <laughs> It's got five stars this on the cover. This is your doing. No. Oh, yes. Do you really think I'd miss this? Well, if you're not interested, <laughs> you're not interested. Still needs editing anyhow. Wait! <laughs> <laughs> you're probably wondering what happens to the night captain after the last chapter. <gasps> Nothing should happen to her. She was falsely accused. Well, it turns out the guardsman... Don't tell me! <clears throat> this is the part where you thank the Inquisitor. I don't normally give sneak peeks, after all. She greatly approves, anyway? Even I... though that was embarrassing? That's pretty good. Thank you.
Beric's the one you should be thanking. I am but a humble servant to my loyal readers. I wonder if I have time to read the first part. But don't forget to tell all your friends, if you have any. Ah, oh, completely worth it. Well, that's nice. I like it when they do stuff like that. Yay, guilty pleasures. Okay, so I'm going to end it here for today. When we come back, I don't know what we'll do. We'll figure it out. Thanks for watching.